Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and in today's video we are going to be having a look at the biggest currently operational rockets flying right now. Yes, very epic and starting off our list is the Falcon 9. Yeah, pretty cool rocket. So this one is actually kind of a kind of a tricky one to get the uh, the exact figure on because you know do you do expended or reused or what's the deal? So I I went with the reused version because there's like no way SpaceX would ever expend a Falcon 9. I mean maybe they will. Who knows? I can't predict the future. I don't know, maybe I can. I got my little glass ball or whatever they use. Um, but the point is um, so it's about. 16 17 tons roughly of payload if you do a drone ship landing which is what you're going to be doing right now so go ahead and separate the booster now the booster is going to head on over to the spaceport drone ship autonomous spaceport drone ship the very epic those things pretty awesome um you go just do our entry burn and then come in for the landing burn there's mr banana man our very epic payload uh so yeah it's about 17 tons with uh fully reused and then well, not fully reused but the you know the booster used and then it's about just over 20, I think close to 22 tons if you expend everything. So that actually put it quite high in this list if you do the expended version, which is kind of crazy to think about how big Falcon 9 actually is. But, but the reused version is what we're doing as the booster touches down. Very epic. Um, that took a while too because it's, it's hard to get the, the booster landings um, when you're trying to manually control. I don't know. Make jab, right? Anyway. Um, Atlas V is next up. So yeah, the seventh tenth that actually puts it a little bit below Atlas V. So Atlas V is actually a bit of a doozy. Um, Atlas V also, also like uh, also like Falcon 9 is is a little little strange. So Atlas V, as you may know, has a bunch of different configurations. It has like the you know all the different SRBs and the different fairings. So technically, the biggest one is the Atlas V five two, which is a five meter fairing, five boosters, and then two engines on the Centaur upper stage. That doesn't fly currently. That's never flown, right? Um, so, technically, the number I went off of um, was the Atlas 551, which is five SRBs, you know, and then one Centaur with the five meter fairing. So, instead of two Centaur, uh, two RL10s on the Centaur, rather. So, for that reason, that'll bring it up uh, into just about, uh, just under 19 tons. There's actually only a 200 kilogram difference between this one and the one uh, in, the, in the next place. Um, so, yeah, this is the Atlas. Technically, this is an Atlas 552 because we do have two engines on the Centaur, but that's that's just because the mod I'm using, Blue Dog Design Bureau, just came with two. So we're going with two, and it's kind of you know two is kind of cool. It gives a little more thrust because this thing takes literally forever to get into orbit. I don't know, they were taking really really forever if we only had one. Um, this this footage is like really sped up because this thing is very very slow. You know what else you could could speed up doing? You could speed up your subs. No, that's that's just a terrible thing. Just. You know, just insert standard YouTube plugs here, you know, like, you know, something we, we would like if you would subscribe, hey, and join our Discord, and, uh, become a member, yes, you get cool perks like craft files, and you can be a mod on my YouTube channel if you have enough, if you pay enough money, anyway, uh, pilotshop.com, we also got a stream highlight channel, put that in the description, and, uh, also, Discord, I think I said that already, point is, thank you if you do stuff that helps me, cool, awesome, um, I mean, just watching this, you know, matter of me, um, next up, this is an ugly stock, amazing, not amazing, bad, ugly craft, why would we, why would you like stock craft? I don't know, this is like, this video is like 30, 30, 40% stock and the rest, because the only reason, the ones that are stock are the ones that I don't have mods for. Uh, this is the H2B, a uh, Japanese rocket. Um, hasn't launched very many times, often gets forget about, but it's about uh, 19 tons to low earth orbit. And this thing uh, mainly serves to take uh, Japan's, uh, Japan's uh, ISS resupply vehicle. Uh, to uh, to the station. So this thing also doesn't have a really powerful upper stage. So we will we'll speed this up again uh, as uh, this thing gets into orbit. Cool rockets, kind of orange orange rockets are pretty dope. I like orange rockets. Um, but yeah, there's you know it's a pretty standard rocket. You just got some SRBs. You got some stages. It's a rock, but it worked. It's a cool rocket. It's launched a few times, I think. Um, and yeah, we'll get ready to move on to the next one. Not too long after we will be separating our payload. And there it goes. And now we are on to Z. Ariane 5, another StarCraft. I don't know why they've never made a mod for Ariane 5 before. I don't know. Maybe they haven't. I just can't find it. But Ariane 5, very cool. It has a really, really high thrust uh, in the, the KSP version here. But uh, there's a little bit of yawing for some reason. I don't know what the yawing is about. But whoop, 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 wobbly, wobbly. Um, this is really fast. But the Ariane 5, um, big rocket actually. It can carry uh, 21 tons to low Earth orbit, which is you know that's a pretty, it's a pretty solid amount. Um, the heaviest payload it has ever lifted is the George Lamatre. Lamatre? I don't know. I, I did a video with this thing, this, uh, this payload before. Uh, and people told me how to pronounce it. I still don't know how. Lim it, it's the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, ESA's resupply vehicle to the ISS. So apparently all these ISS resupply vehicles weigh a lot. But uh, there it is. Can deploy the fairing. 
and then we'll get it into orbit and then we will circularize and then we will deploy the payload in totally not a big weird explosion. No, what the, that was weird. I don't know. I, I literally don't even know why that happened. I, I, I thought my head might, you know, check your stage in, but yeah, there it goes. Anyway, on to Russia, mother Russia. Um, yeah, the first Russian rocket, the Proton M, the Proton M. I should have, I should have, instead of doing this launch, I should have done the thing where, you know, like, goes up, flips over, and crashes. You know that video of it? Yeah. I should, I should have done for this one as a meme. Anyway, um, the Proton M can carry 23 tons to low Earth orbit. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Um, there's stage in the way the bottom stage. Kind of a weird looking bottom stage, to be honest, because, you know, the boosters. Just, there are no boosters, you know? It's weird. Um, yeah, the Proton M is la Proton has launched a lot of times. It actually was quite helpful in making the ISS, and it launched most of the Russian segments, if not all of it. Um, I'm sure I'm, I'm missing something here. Um, like always, but yeah, Proton, very cool, very cool rocket. And also, because, you know, they're Proton, and then there's Electron by Rocket Lab, and Neutron was uh, recently announced by Rocket Lab, so you can make the Atom rocket now if you just, like, smash them all together. Um, I should do a video on that at some point, it'd be pretty cool. But anyway, there goes the bottom stage. This thing is just like stage, or the second, the second stage rather. This thing is like pajillions of stages. It's like stages and stages and stages. Like when you think you're done with all the stages, there's even more. So this is the, uh, the third stage that we're burning right now. As you have just crossed the Carmen line, we're just trying to get ourselves, uh, circularized in orbit right about now. We'll be just about to cut the engine. There you go. That, and now this is the fourth stage. Um, this is the, um, the breeze stage. Breezes, I think it's called, whatever. Point, it's something in Russian. Um, so launch, we can fire this stage, unless the next one's breeze, but point. And there's even, like, another stage. I didn't, yeah, there's another stage. A lot of stages in this thing, but, uh, um, yeah, well, stages, man. Anyway, on to another Russian rocket. Uh, the Angara A5. This thing, very cool rocket. Can lift 24 and a half tons to low Earth orbit not really launched that much. They launched, uh, I believe, only one test flight with this thing, um, and they haven't really done much with it since. Um, I mean, granted, that flight wasn't in December of last year, and it's, I mean, only June, but um, this rocket, they've said it has been delayed a bit, but, you know, the point is, the Angara A5, um, it did one launch where it launched, like, the giant concrete slab to GTO, I believe, um, and this, and we're, so we're going to be launching some giant fuel tank to, to, to low Earth orbit in our launch, so... There we go. We get rid of the boosters, get rid of the fairing. Um, this is a fairly simple design. Um, it has the boosters, the core stage, the stage, the core way, then there's an upper stage. Very awesome. Um, as we cross 70 kilometers right right now, getting ready to stage away the second, or the core stage. And now we will be firing the upper stage. Very, very, very epic. So epic, yeah. Um, it'll be cool to see what this rocket is capable of doing, but I don't think it's going to pot up too much. I don't think it's going to launch that much, but we'll see. Come on, Putin. Prove me wrong. Uh, so we're just about to get into orbit here with our uh, with our third stage, and there we are going to go ahead, time warp up, and then we'll be circularizing, then we'll be moving on to the next one. We're getting kind of close. There's not that many left. It's, I mean, these are crazy that there's this many rockets. There's a lot. There's a lot of different variations of rockets. These are only the biggest one. You know, there's loads of other ones. Um, yeah, which is pretty pretty interesting. But now we are heading on over to China. Long March five slash. Long March 5B is Long March 5. This is Long March 5B, I believe, yeah. Whichever the one that doesn't have an upper stage. Um, this is one that the Chinese love to drop on people's faces or drop randomly in, in the middle of the ocean because they don't know how to do it with their own boost or what. That doesn't happen. Anyway, um, so yeah, this thing can carry 25 tons to low Earth orbit. Only 500 kilograms more than the Angra. This is China's uh, biggest rocket right now. It is actually a fairly similar design to Angra. You have the four boosters, the core stage, and then the upper stage. Um, and then you have a really, really quite big payload fairing, which is... Actually, no, what am I talking about? That's the that's the Long March 5. There's no upper stage on the, the one. So the, the, the one at the upper stage, that upper stage is mainly meant for, uh, like, um, like, deep space missions or going to the moon or going to geo or, you know, point like stuff like that. But when you're launching a space station, like the Tianhe station, which is what I launched right there, uh, you don't really need the upper stage and you can, you know, the Leo capacity is... Cool rocket! Anyway, this is also cool rocket. Orange rocket! Very epic orange rocket as we now get it flying. This is, of course, the Delta IV Heavy, and we're in second place already. This is a, this is a second place rocket. I don't know. I haven't been like doing the epic counting. Like number five. You know, this is number two, the Delta IV Heavy, and this is this. The, the crazy thing is, the Delta IV Heavy is optimized for. Um, it's it's, a, it's an optimized for geo sending payloads to geostationary orbit, and 
it's the second biggest rocket in terms of low Earth orbit capacity, which big rocket, right? It can carry uh, 28,790 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Very cool. And I'm going to stage away the uh, two side cores right now, and then we will open that up. And this is my kind of bad recreation of the Parker Solar Probe, which is one of its more famous payloads, which is the big probe that's going to go out to the... Uh, go out and do some fun exploration of the sun as we kind of spin in circles here. Um, and then it has the upper stage, which has so little thrust. It is crazy how little thrust this thing has, but it has so... It's yeah, blah, slow, a very slow rocket, unlike the superior fast Russian... And uh, are there? I don't remember. No, they're not, they're not actually fast. They're quite slow. The, the proton one, I mean, yeah, mods, but you know, it was, they were quite slow. The fastest, the Ariane Five is totally the fastest rocket, and that's not not in real life, but you know, in the video. Um, maybe I should do a video like fastest rocket story. That could be cool. But anyway, on to the first place. Falcon Heavy. Yes, very awesome rocket. Very, very, very awesome rocket. So, Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy can carry a lot. A lot of payload, and it has the reusable boosters too, which is pretty cool. Uh, so Falcon Heavy, so it's 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 hard to find out the legit number on what the actual um, payload capacity is because it's like you know, do you do a boost back burn on all three boosters? Do you land all three boosters on drone ships? Do you you know land the two? Do you do boost backs with two land one on drone ship? And you can see we're gonna do we're we're boosting we're actually in this uh, payload video or payload video, in this video because our payload is really really light and this is KST we can actually afford to do a triple boost back there with absolutely no problem on Falcon um, and there goes separating the uh, the last of the boosters here in just a moment um, and uh, so yeah it's literally so according on Wikipedia right it says 38 tons to 45 tons. Um, so, you know, just, just being that amount is literally more than every other rocket ever. Um, not ever, but, uh, currently flying. Um, so, you know, I've seen numbers as low as 20 tons, and I've seen numbers as high as, like, 50 tons. So, I, I don't know, but here we are, coming in for a landing. There we are, and there is our Falcon Heavy done. And that's, you know, that's like, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank you for watching. Until next time, leave a comment to this video. Once again, thank you for watching. Until next time. And bye.